everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the new fabric arrivals into my shop in the past month and I've got loads and loads of lovely things to show you today. I think you're going to be really inspired for new dressmaking projects. So as always I make a blog post that goes along with this video and in that I'll link to all of the fabrics that I mentioned but the just arrived section on the website is always the best place to keep up to date with new stuff because we get new stuff all the time regularly throughout the month and sometimes it can sell out really quickly so yeah depending on when you look at that just arrived section if you do see anything that is out of stock and you're interested in it always just drop us an email I'll put the email address in the description to this video as well and let us know we put you on the inquiries list and we let you know as soon as it's back and again it's always the, the best way to sort of be informed as to when stuff comes back in stock so not in the fabric department but one thing I did want to show you which I'm really excited about is that we do now have our own very beautiful wooden pin blocks and um, so these are locally made by um, Matt, who is a very, very talented um, carpenter, woodworker, cabinet maker. He can do anything with wood. I'm not sure of the exact title. He's, he's also the same guy who made our wooden clappers, if you've had one of them before. And I've been working with him for a good few months now on various prototypes to get this um, really lovely magnetic wooden pin magnet. So the magnet sunk in at the back and we had to play about with the depth and getting the right depth of the magnet so that it would attract the pins in the right way. And yeah, it's just it feels really soft and smooth around the edges. It's got grooves on two of the edges as well. So it's nice and easy to pick up and yet yeah, just looks really nice in your sewing space. So they are now in stock. They are in the just arrived section on the shop and it will come in this little box here. So we just sort of package it up so it doesn't get bumped about in the post at all. But yeah, um, they are now available. So I have grouped together all of the fabrics in sort of type of fabric together and I'll put little timestamps on the video as well so you can kind of hover over the timeline bar on the video and then you could jump to a certain section you want but I've got some viscose prints to show you first there behind me I'm going to show you some lovely cotton lawn prints I've got some other woven cottons and then I'm going to move into some stretch in jersey towards the end so if there's a particular type of fabric you're interested in then you can always skip ahead to that section so we always have a really amazing selection of viscose prints and this time of year is the perfect time of year to be sewing with these type of types of fabrics they're really versatile they're good for so many different projects so think anything from little summery tops like the Ogden camisole to more kind of full-on tops with sleeves and ruffles and blouses shirts you could make dresses jumpsuits even some lightweight trousers for some of them too so they are super super versatile so you can see some of them on the rolls just behind me here and we do have a few colorways of some of them so this one here which is a gorgeous quite large scale kind of palm print we've called this um, cool, blue, cool blue tropical palms it does also come in a really bright pinky colorway as well which is super summery and I'll hold a little bit of that out to just show you so you can see that it floats and it drapes really nicely like all viscoses do and I would say that this one is pretty opaque like you can't really see through it that much despite it being quite light in color so it does make it really really versatile this would be lovely maybe for like a sort of oversized kind of cover up like a kind of caftan style um, or yeah just a really lovely summer dress or a summer skirt I think something that's quite quite a quite a voluminous garment just so you can make use of that really big scale print so yeah a really lovely one there and the pink colorway is very bright and vibrant as well and then we've got this really lovely blue floral one and the background of this fabric I would say is black but then it's got these really lovely sort of kind of powdery blue almost little flowers on them this feels so soft it's a plain weave visco so it feels very very smooth got that smooth surface to it and yeah it's it's totally opaque as well so you can't see through that one either so again another really really versatile print for all of those different types of projects and then the next one possibly my favorite just because i basically love anything that is remotely pink um is this one here which is kind of like animal printy a little bit we've called this one soft pink subtle leopard um 
so it's a pink background but then it's kind of got this grey sort of leopard print on it this one does feel a bit lighter weight than the other ones but you still can't see through it like when I put my hand underneath it I don't think that you can see through it and yeah it's a plain weave as well so just a nice smooth flat surface and yeah got a gorgeous drape on it as well i think this would look lovely as a little summer dress so a really nice version of the tilly and the buttons lotta the one that's got the sort of gathered waist quite a simple one um, and i think that would look lovely in these printed viscoses because it's just such a simple design and then it just lets the colors and the print of the fabric just shine through really and then this has also got beautiful colours in it as well. I love the sort of background colour of this, it's so nice. And then the little flowers are kind of pinky, the sort of yellowy and a kind of brighter blue. They just really stand out against it. Again, a plain wee viscose, so really nice and smooth. Feels very, very silky and got beautiful drape and swooshiness to it. And you can't see through this one either, which is really good. So yeah, just such a lovely, versatile garment. I love this one as well. I think that would look really nice and um, just a little simple top. The colours are just so gorgeous. And then the next one that we've got, I've seen quite a lot of green out there at the moment. I think it's one of those sort of in vogue kind of on trend colours, this lovely kind of bright emerald sort of green colourway. We've called this stylized fans and it's actually on a tensile lawn base. So the lawn part of it is just really referring to the fact it's like a plain weave fabric and then the tensile is the type of fibre which behaves very very similar to viscose so it is just going to behave in the same way as those other viscose prints that I showed you but it feels super super smooth and soft and um, again you can't see through it at all even though it is so lightweight so would be a really lovely cool summery fabric to wear and yeah I think the colour of it's fabulous it's very very nice and just yeah a really cool kind of bold print on that one and um, just one colour weight of that one and then the last one that I've got to show you it comes in two different colorways and it's a bit lighter weight I think I'll just I'll roll a little bit out to show you but I've got a feeling that you can maybe see through this one a little bit more it's not I mean it's not it obviously it does have a light background color so probably can see through it a little bit more than some of the others but yeah I think if it was like say you were making a dress and the skirt section of the dress was sort of gathered or quite full then I think you would be fine um, but it is a really summery fabric I love the colours in this one too and then yeah we've got another colourway of it too but I think this one's probably my favourite with those sort of like turquoisey leaves and then the orange and blue flowers on it so yeah that is the viscose prints but we do have such a lovely range of viscose prints that's one of my favorite areas of the shop is all of the rolls of viscose because they're just so colorful very inspiring um, so yeah, some new additions to that. And then the next group of fabrics that I've got to show you are all cotton lawn. So I'll show you a couple of the sort of designer ones first or like the named ones. And we've got two colorways of the Liberty Tan Alone and that really beautiful Cape Vista print that you might recognize from the Sewing Bee. So we did have this colorway before, but we managed to get some back in stock. And then we've also got it in a different colorway as well that's got a little little bit more of a sort of pinky feel to it um, and a sort of softer blue colour and um, this more pastely one's definitely more my sort of colour palette but I do love the, the sort of rich bright saturated colours in this one as well so like any good Liberty print there's just so much detail in it and I love that when you look at these these fabrics it's almost like they tell a story like with the little boats and the, the kind of bay and then all of the the apartments and the houses and you know the little umbrellas and everything it's almost like you notice something extra in it every time you come to look at it it's such a beautiful fabric we do have a little bit of it on the linen base as well which is quite a lightweight linen and um, so yeah quite limited stock of that one but yeah we do have a little bit more of the lawn and they're really good for summer tops and blouses as well easier to work with than viscose so you know if you do like prints but you're maybe not sure about viscose or kind of yeah, working with a fabric that is a bit more slippery then the the lawns are a nice alternative because they are just a bit easier to control they press a little bit easier um, and yeah they're just really lovely to sew with but still really nice and lightweight for summery projects and then we've got two dashwood lawns which are very similar in quality to the liberty ones you know they're really lovely and soft they're lightweight 
So these fabrics have a high thread count, which means that the threads that have woven them are very, very fine. So, and then the, the weave of the fabric is very dense. So you can see like it doesn't really fray that easily because the, fa the threads are so thin and yeah, they're just like really, really tightly woven together, which makes a really fine floaty fabric, which feels very soft, but almost at the same time, like it is quite durable as well. So yeah, it's just a really lovely fabric to yeah to feel and to have. So two colorways of this one. This is a sort of darker bluey one, and it's got flowers. And then when you look closely, you can sort of see these really lovely birds in it as well. And then this other colorway, which is a sort of lighter, kind of brighter, sort of greeny turquoisey color, which I think is beautiful as well. These lovely pink flowers. So yeah. Two, same print but just two gorgeous colorways and then we do have another range of lawns and um, cotton lawns but they're not like necessarily a sort of specific named brand or designer or anything but they're still really lovely and really really good quality as well so this one's got more of a sort of darker kind of moody bluey feel to it and um, again it's really lightweight it's not see-through at all and um, and yeah just a lovely sort of florally one so there's that then this one's a little bit brighter kind of florally but then actually when you look at it it's butterflies that have made it up and um, I would say this one's maybe slightly heavier weight than the other ones um, I, I would say it's probably more like a sort of medium weight cotton into a cotton poplin weight it's just a little bit thicker and doesn't have quite as much sort of lightness to it so slightly more structured but still really good for I would say skirts would be good for summer skirts or a sort of more structured dress so maybe a dress where you've got like a button band down the front or something or like a button band all the way down would be really nice in that and then I think the next ones are more back to like that that lovely lightweight cotton lawn feel to it so this one here which has got sort of muted kind of color palette quite a retro feel in this one and it's beautiful and lightweight as well and um, it's ve like very slightly sheer but i don't think you would necessarily need to line it or anything certainly not for a more kind of summery garment and then the next one is the same print that i showed you on the viscose roll before but just in a cotton lawn and um, so yeah it's a, basically exactly the same fabric but it's just on a cotton lawn instead so obviously depends on what project you're making or your your confidence level and what fabric you want to work with this is just going to be a bit easier to work with than the other one and then we've also got this lovely blue one here with little sort of kind of like little peaches or little apples maybe tutti frutti we've called it um, and it's got a blue background so yeah just another lovely nice lightweight cotton we do also have a really beautiful kind of poppy saturated cerise fabric as well which is a little bit heavier than the really fine cotton lawns and um, it's also slightly narrower too so just check out the width of the fabric on the on the listing for that it's been super super popular um, and we've got more arriving imminently so if you're looking for that on the website and it is out of stock just let us know and we'll let you know as soon as it arrives back in again so yeah that was all the prints that i wanted to show you and then we do have a few planes in the kind of woven department as well this one is a really lovely one that's come in it's perfect for summer and it's just a really nice lightweight denim fabric so if you're looking to make something that's just um, out of like classic lightweight denim this is really good so think shirt dresses you could just make a shirt with it as well but yeah I think a really nice shirt dress would be nice in this or a jumpsuit and um, so it's got that sort of dark indigo color to it but just lovely and lightweight you know it's not got any sort of stiffness of that that kind of heavier weight denim so yeah just a nice classic basic if you're looking for something denim -y. And then these two here have a really fine pinstripe in them, which you'll see better when I show you the close-up videos. This particular one is a cotton and linen mix, so it's got a bit more of a sort of slubbed texture to it, which is really nice. And it's almost, I don't know, it depends what sort of light you look at in. Some lights you look at it, it looks kind of a little bit greeny. Sometimes it looks a bit more grey. But yeah, it is just a really fine, very, very fine pinstripe. And I think that would be really nice for, for summer summer dresses, shirt dresses as well. It's probably like a little bit 
little bit see-through. Um, so yeah, just depending on what you're making with that and the style of it, you might want to line it just with like a plain cotton lawn fabric or cotton voile, which we do have available as well. And then also in the pinstripe, but a more sort of light classic blue color weight is this one here. Um, I mean, in terms of weight, I would say that they're probably a bit heavier than some of the really fine lawns, but they're not as heavy as, say, like a poplin or a quilting cotton. They are lighter weight than that. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're still going to press really well, going to be really easy to sew with. So, yeah, just some nice nice fresh summery options there and then also in the plain woven department i've got this one here which is quite unusual it's a mix of a few fibers let me tell you what they all are so it's 60 percent linen 35 percent viscose and then five percent elastane so because it's got that linen content it's got a very sort of natural kind of slubby texture to it. it's almost like it's got stripes that run vertically parallel to the selvage and then when you look at it, it is just very, very sort of textured. Um, it does hold its, hold its sort of shape and structure fairly well. Like if I unroll a little bit of it here for you, you can sort of see the kind of handle that it's got. So the elastane in it does make it stretchy, but unusually it's stretchy parallel to the selvage so it's stretchy in that direction as opposed to 90 degrees to the selvage so depending on what you were making that stretch may or may not be useful and um, you know if you did want to make use of that stretch then you're looking at cutting it out with the grain line at 90 degrees to the selvage as opposed to parallel to it which you can totally do you know, it just depends on what you're making but it is a really lovely just alternative sort of linen fabric and the fact it's got that viscose content and it means it won't crease quite as much as 100% linen and um, so yeah a bit more unusual that it's got elastane in it but it, it is a ve very lovely sort of light blue color and yeah just another nice plain basic summery one and then the final sort of little woven ones I've got two on the same base cloth but just quite different prints this is a bit of a heavier weight fabric as well. So it's called a cotton pique, and that's what that sort of textured kind of fabric looks like. It does have a little bit of elastane in it. Um, it has got 3% elastane, so it's got a bit of a stretch, but you wouldn't classify it as like a stretchy jersey fabric. It is a woven fabric that just has a bit of give or stretch in it. So you can kind of see that there, and that does go at 90 degrees to the selvage. So this one is, as you can see, very bright and light and got these beautiful kind of painted floral design on it. I think this would look gorgeous if anybody's got a summer wedding to go to or a summer party. It looks really, really nice for something like that. And I think it would suit a garment that does have a little bit more structure to it. So it might be something where you've got more of a kind of fitted bodice, something that's got darts, probably going to have a zip in it as well. Um, I think it would look really nice. And I think even if you had, say you had like a gathered skirt section, it probably would hold the shape a bit more just because it's thicker. But I think it would just, it would look really nice. It would just hang really nicely in that. Um, so yeah, we've got it in that print, but then we've also got it in a bit more of a bolder, kind of darker mosaic print, which is this one here. So the, the sort of main background color in this is navy. And then it's got these sort of brighter blue and off white and then kind of beigey mosaic shapes in it. So it's the same base cloth. It's caught that cotton PK with a bit of elastane. So it's got that bit of give in it as well. Um, I think that would be nice even for like a little sort of straight skirt or like an A-line skirt. Then you could just wear a nice sort of white blouse with it or something. Nice summery outfit. So yeah, a bit more of an unusual cloth, but very nice for summer and then we've also got this one here which is definitely got linen in it 52% linen 48% cotton so again a really nice natural texture because it's got the linen in it and quite a sort of retro print I think the, the color palette of it is just reminds me of more sort of like vintage fabric and um, so yeah it does kind of hold its its shape and structure a bit more but it doesn't feel too sort of dense and I would say it's going to be best for top, tops, blouses and dresses. I would say it's not quite heavy enough for trousers, I don't think. Um, probably like a little bit too see-through. Um, but for tops and blouses and things, you wouldn't need to line it at all. It would be really, really nice. That's going to press very nice and crisply, be very satisfying to sew. 
paint them a nice summery one. And then the final woven one that I wanted to show you um, was something that is not a dress making fabric, but when I saw this, I just couldn't resist it. Um, and those of you that have been following me for a while might remember quite a while ago, um, on Instagram stories, I made my daughter Sophia a quilt. It was like a cheats quilt out of fabric that had little kind of printed squares on it with different um, animal head um, animal head design on it. Anyway, the same principle of fabric has come out. It's a Dashwood collection. Um, and it's basically like a cheats patchwork fabric because it's got all of these squares printed on it. And it's really, really easy to make a quilt out of this because all you have to do is get that, you know, this is your top fabric. You sandwich, you sandwich wadding in between this and your backing fabric and then you just quilt on the lines of the grids and then it looks like a really nice patchwork quilt. It's so cute. Um, and I'm going to make a sample up out of this one. So keep an eye on Instagram and you'll see my top tips for doing that but we've got a few of the collection that coordinates with this fabric so you could use that for the backing fabric or for some binding around the outside edge as well or for just like any other accessories maybe if you're making like little toys or pouches or any sort of other kind of kid accessory things um, and we've got quite a few different um, designs of this coming as the different collections are released they've got quite a few different versions of the same thing of this sort of cheats patchwork design so I'm looking forward to doing that because it's just it's something a bit different from making clothes and it is just really super easy because it's kind of like all the work's done for you already and um, so yeah a lovely new dashwood uh, fabrics collection there and then actually i have spotted two more woven fabrics that i wanted to show you these are also dashwood fabrics but they're planes um, and they're really beautiful colors i just couldn't resist these when i saw them so they're fine needle cord non-stretch so they're 100 percent cotton and one is this gorgeous sort of tealy petroly color it's called marine cotton but it's such a lovely sort of deep saturated color and then this one is a really lovely berry colour. It's called wine, um, but it could be sort of described as being like a berry or a sort of really rich raspberry colour too. It's gorgeous, lovely. Um, and these would be good for, they're nice for kids' clothes, this sort of thing. Um, or you can make like a little kind of pinafore with it or even like a little skirt. Um, would be good for a shirt as well, maybe like a bit more autumnal in a shirt, but still really nice i just couldn't resist the colors when i saw it so yeah we've got them as well this does come in other colorways so if you do like this fabric then I the dash that dashwood range does come in other colorways you can let me know and i can get the other colorways in as well and then on to the stretch fabrics and um, i'll keep it with dashwood seeing as i've been mentioning quite a few of them already so some of you might recognize these prints because they were on a ray i'm pretty sure it was rayon either rayon or viscose um, base cloth either last year or the year before i still totally lose track of years since the pandemic happened you kind of lose track of time don't you but they were really popular on those um rayon base cloth so i thought we'd get them in the jersey They're really lovely the print quality in this is really good so it's a cotton jersey it's lightweight so it is more like a t-shirt weight um, so it's 95% cotton, 5% elastane. So we've got these these two prints, same same print, obviously different colourway. So this is a beautiful kind of um, dark, tealy sort of blue colour. And I just love these really bright little accents of colour on the flowers. They're, they're gorgeous, really, really nice. And then, yeah, I think this one's maybe my favourite, this kind of more sort of browny, caramelly colour in the background. And I think the little pops of colour in this really, really stand out. It's beautiful. Feels very, very soft. And even though it's cotton, because it's so lightweight, it does still have, a, you know, a bit of kind of drape to it. Some of the heavier weight cotton jerseys can sometimes almost feel a bit stiffer, but this one definitely does feel a bit soft. So any of your classic t-shirt patterns, this is the Jennifer Lauren Astara that I'm wearing just now, but you know, the Tilling the Buttons Agnes, the Lark tee, you know, the Mandy Boat tee, all those popular t-shirt patterns would all be good for this. Closet Core Ebony, I think would even be nice for this one because it is such a lovely quality, lightweight one. And then this sort of jeweled one, what's this called again? 
um, evening soiree, but it is almost like sort of jewels um, that's on it. It's really nice. It's a black background, but then just really bright, sort of abstract little shapes that are on it. And yet yeah, just feels really lovely. The only thing I would say about this one is that you probably don't want to make anything that is like really tight fitting in it because what you tend to find with jerseys that are printed with quite a dark design on them if they're printed on white cloth like what this one is when it stretches it does just diminish the sort of saturation of the color color a little bit so yeah if you're making something out of this one i would say make sure that it's either got no ease or positive ease so it's just a bit looser if you make something with negative ease and it gets stretched across your body, you will just lose some of the definition of the print a little bit. So just watch out for that one. But it does it does look beautiful. Such a lovely selection of colours in that one. And then in terms of plain things, um, we do now have a really lovely range of just plain, totally plain organic cotton jerseys that are like a t-shirt weight loads of different colours. It's a lovely quality. It's the same quality that we included in our Rio Ringer Sewing Society kits, which we do still have some left of, but I just wanted to show you some of the other colourways. So we've got the main fabric and then we do also have the matching ribbing as well. So yeah, if you're making a t-shirt with it, then you can you can buy the ribbing for the neck band. But what I think is really nice is that it's quite fun to mix and match. So, um, you know, say you were doing a t-shirt in this one, but you could have a little bit of the blue binding around the neckline. You could add that onto the, the, the hem of the sleeve as well for like a bit of contrast. So yeah, there's just some really nice color options that you could either pair together and it's the same like dye shade number or whatever because um, they're from the same range of fabric so you, can, you know that they're going to match or you can kind of contrast and coordinate it and yeah, mix it up a little bit, do a little bit of kind of color blocking, which is fun. And then finally back in stock, but one new colorway is the two other colorways that we had before of this fabric that I'm wearing. So we've got the sage green and the mid stripe white and blue. But it's a really lovely shade of blue. I love this shade of blue. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's gorgeous. And yeah, I just love that green as well. Again, just a really, really nice shade of green. So the one I've got on is the ginger stripe, which I think we are out of stock on. We've probably got more on order. Just email us if you like that one. But then we do have this new colourway, which is a lovely rose pink, which I just absolutely adore as well. I'm desperate to make something out of this. Um, so yeah, they're all just like t-shirt weight, cotton jersey t-shirt weight fabrics. Really, really nice. And yeah, the stripes woven into the fabric as well. So you can kind of use that when you come to cut it out and yeah help to get your pattern pieces on the straight grain. So I hope that you have enjoyed looking through all of those fabrics. There's so much here to be inspired by. Honestly, it's been one of those months where my to sew list is just getting out of control again because I just want to make so many different things. I want a t-shirt and all of these stripes. I want to make that quilt. I really love the lawns and um, I love those viscoses as well. I want to make a little summer dress and um, so yeah. I know that I'm inspired and I hope you are too. So don't forget to check out the blog post that goes with this video. Remember that will link all of the fabrics that I've mentioned, but you can just check out the Just Arrive section as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.